Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining this video. Today we're going to continue talking about slope intercept form. This is really a part two video of slope intercept form, and it's all about continuing to learn how to write an equation in slope intercept form. But in this case, it's about writing the equation from a given point and a slope or given two points on the coordinate plane. So it says here you can write the equation of a line in slope intercept form by being given the slope m and the y-intercept b, which is the easiest thing ever because you just plug in the m, plug in the b, you're done. Maybe it's a little cleanup, but really nothing much. You can also just look at a graph. If I gave you a graph, count the rise over run, count the slope, and then also see where it intersects the y-axis for the y-intercept and write your equation that way. And my previous video was about those two. This video is going to focus on these procedures. If I give you the slope, but I don't give you the y-intercept. I simply give you another ordered pair. Now, if I give you the slope in an ordered pair, what we're missing is the y-intercept, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to calculate. The other last situation that we could have is if I don't give you the slope and I don't give you the y-intercept, I simply just give you two ordered pairs. So if I give you two ordered pairs right now, the only thing we know how to do, guys, with two ordered pairs is to find the slope. So we're gonna use that slope formula, then we're gonna take that slope, and one of those ordered pairs to solve for b to write our equation. So follow along with me. Um, the problems go pretty quickly, so don't miss out on anything. So pause if you need to, for sure. If I give you a slope of 1 half and an ordered pair of 2, negative 3, we know every ordered pair is made up of an x and y value. So notice, if I give you the slope and I give you an ordered pair, I've got an m, an x, and a y. Look at our formula, y, m, x, plus b. y equals m, x plus b. I know my y, it's negative 3. I know my m, it's 1 half. I know my x, it's 2. And if I plug in my slope and the ordered pair, I can then solve for b. And then once I solve for b, I can write my equation. So now this just becomes some math to solve for b, some simple solving equations. Half of 2 is 1. We would subtract 1 on both sides to get to solve for b, rather. And b is negative 4. So you take the slope and the ordered pair to solve for b to write your equation. So we took the slope and the ordered pair, we solve for b, and now our equation is y equals 1 half, we use that slope that we were given, and then minus 4, because that's our y-intercept. That's it. So ready? We take the slope and the ordered pair. So my ordered pair is my x and my y, so this becomes 4 equals, remember, we plug in the y value, the y value is this 4. m, we're given, is negative 3 x, we're given is 0, plus b. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. That's it. So once I have that, we take the slope and the ordered pair to solve for b. Now, here's a little helpful hint. In this problem here, the first problem, 2, negative 3, that's a legit ordered pair. That's in the coordinate plane. It's not the y-intercept. But look at problem 2, 0, 4. That actually is the y-intercept. So if I give you an ordered pair and the x value is 0, you can do all this math, but guess what? This y value of 4 is the b value. Again, that only happens when x is 0. So you can actually bypass all this work. If you don't want to remember that or you feel like you might not remember it, just go with the flow and plug the values in, and you'll always still get your answer. So now my equation is y equals negative 3x plus 4. y equals negative 3. That's my m, my slope, and my y-intercept is that 4. Pretty good. If you feel like you want to try these two on your own, pause the screen right now. Otherwise, follow along with me. So we take the slope and the ordered pair to solve for b to write our equation. Now, I'm not going to label the x and y right now just so that we can see um, where everything's coming from. What's my y value here? It's 5. So 5 equals. What's my m? My slope is 2. What's my x value? Negative 1. And then remember, it always is plus b becomes negative 2 plus b. Let's add 2 on both sides. We get b equals 7. So my equation is y equals 2x plus 7. Ready? My y is 0. My slope is negative 3 fourths. My x value is 4. Negative 3 fourths times 4 is negative 3. We're going to solve for b, so we're going to add 3. b is 3. So my equation is y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3. That's it. Okay, now the next situation is where I don't give you the y-intercept or the slope. I kind of almost give you nothing. I'm gonna move myself over here, sorry. 
Okay, I just give you two ordered pairs. Now, what I mentioned before is the only thing we know how to do right now at this point, guys, between two ordered pairs is find the slope. Well, that's what we're going to do first. So to calculate the slope between these two points, remember, it's this is x sub 1, this is y sub 1, this is x sub 2, this is y sub 2. So my formula would be to do y sub 2 minus y sub 1, so 6 minus 4, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 5 minus, we subtract our y's over subtracting our x's. That ends up giving us a slope of 1. Now, we take the slope and the ordered pair. But in this case, we actually have two ordered pairs, and guess what? You can pick either one. For whatever reason, I'm just going to randomly decide to pick the first ordered pair. So I'm going to take this slope that we just calculated, 1. That's going to go in for m. And then this x and y value is going to go in for my x and my y values here, so I can solve for b. So now this becomes 4 equals 1 times 3 plus b. I have plug in my y value. I could have picked the 5, 6 ordered pair, and I promise you, you'd also get the same final answer. And I end up solving for b is 1, and now I have my equation. y equals, if my slope is 1, I don't need to write 1x, I could just write x, and then my y-intercept also happens to be 1. Okay, let's try this problem here. First thing I need to do is calculate my slope. Remember, this is x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. I go ahead, I subtract my y, so negative 2 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 0. That becomes negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. I now take my slope. I can take either ordered pair. I'm going to just randomly choose the first one. doesn't really matter, so my y is 1. My slope is negative 1. My x is 0 to solve for b. I just happen to get 1 again, guys. It's just a coincidence. And my equation ends up being y equals negative x plus 1. Again, a negative 1x. But I don't need to write negative 1x. I just need to write negative x. If you feel like you get the process and you want to try these last two problems on your own, please go for it. Otherwise, follow along with me. Ready? So again, we have our ordered pairs x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. We know we subtract y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So 1 minus negative 4 over negative 2 minus 8. 1 minus negative 4 is 5. Negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. This becomes negative 1 half. We then take the slope and an ordered pair. I just for some reason always choose the first one, but it really doesn't matter to solve for b. So my y value is negative 4, my slope is negative 1 half, my x is that 8. Negative 1 half times 8 is negative 4. Let's go ahead and add 4 on both sides to solve for b. We actually get b is 0, which is fun. So this becomes y equals negative 1 half x, that's my slope. And since my y-intercept is 0, I don't need to put plus 0. That's just my full equation. Last example x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So we go ahead, we plug these into our formula. So it's going to be negative 6 minus a negative 3 over 4 minus 2. Negative 6 minus a negative 3 becomes negative 3 over 2. So that's my slope. And again, I'm going to take my slope and my ordered pair to solve for b to write my equation. So my y value is negative 3, my slope is negative 3 halves, my x value is 2. Negative 3 halves times 2 is negative 3. Add 3 on both sides. Another example where we get b is 0, and so my equation equals is y equals negative 3 halves, which is my uh, slope, x. I don't need to put plus 0 at the end. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching.